Let's move on to a really key question straight away because I know that you have a, a is it a pet hate, a pet love, a, a pet love? I mean, we're about to find out about that little three letter word, Ted. Those Ted no, talks. Why? 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 Okay. I know. I know. I cannot be. I cannot be objective about this. I cannot be neutral. At I'm a speaking coach, but really at heart, I am a teacher. I came to Peru to teach English as a foreign language, and no matter what capacity it is, I'm a teacher. And what drove me away from the profession was the bureaucracy, the people outside the office. The less they know about your job, the more they want to tell you how to do your job. And there's always somebody in an office saying, oh, be gone with you, you cretin, you commoner, you teacher, and uh, show the TED Talks. Because I don't know what the TED speaker is saying. I don't know the subject matter. All I know is whatever they're talking about, they're clearly superior to you. So off the bat, I have an aversion to TED Talks as it is. But where, as a speaking coach, I don't care for TED Talks. Now, if it's a condensed academic lesson and you learn something, by all means, feel free to learn. There are some TED Talks I really like. And if it's somebody who's been through great trauma or abuse and they get on stage, they tell their story, they inspire you or other people to tell their story, I'm all for it. But most TED Talks, and I'll do what TED speakers do and use a a useless statistic. Did you know that 87% of all TED Talks absolutely suck? Most people get up on that stage to say that they did it, to hear themselves talk for a sizzle reel, just promotional purposes. The audience is completely irrelevant. Every word is scripted. Every movement is staged. People spend thousands of dollars in coaching and prepping just to make sure they hit their mark and get within the time, and then it's forgotten. And that's what TED Talks are. It drives me nuts when people say to me, they don't know, oh, you should be more like those TED Talk people. No, nothing to do with that. You want real-life, bare-bones communication where it's a conversation with your audience, where you're not much different on stage as you are off stage. The only difference when you're on stage, you do all the talking. Like now I'm really indulging myself and I love this. In a normal conversation, (laughs) I wouldn't go for minutes at a time. That's the only difference between a speech on stage and a conversation on the floor is the balance of of, uh, who speaks more. But TED Talks are the complete opposite of that. It's pompous. It's community theater. People are so high on the sound of their own voices. And people have it on their bucket list to do a TED Talk. Go ahead and do that. Once you work with me, you're going to forget everything you did on that stage, and we're going to get real. Love that. Love that. Again, authenticity at its heart there, isn't it? If you're watching this, if you're hearing this, that is such a, 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 a true thing. I see it myself when you watch these TED Talks, and you're quite right to make that split. You know, individual stories of inspiration are quite different to just blowing stuff up people's wherever yeah. you know and look at me look at how good my how big the screen is behind me you know yeah and not only that if i may the subject matter it's you know it's unbelievable how there is political bias and everything the things that are acceptable and the things that aren't i want to see a ted talk from a whistleblower at the wuhan lab somebody poisoned the world first with a virus and then a vaccine. Get up on that stage and tell me how you managed to kill a million people and nobody's been held accountable. Show me that TED Talk and I'll listen. Until then, people are not speaking truth to power, so that stage is useless. It's not what it used to be. It's no good to me if you're not addressing real issues that the news media and the other talking heads are not willing to. No, no, quite right, quite right. Fair play to you. I love that. I love that attitude. I love that, 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 yeah that character that's shown in you. 